Hi and good morning. My name is Wendy Little with Creation Depot and today I'm going to show you how to create a letterhead in Google Docs. It's not as hard as you might think. All right, so here we are on our bright orange Google Docs page. And I did this for a reason, just mostly as a reminder to me to come back and show you a, a kind of an important part of this. So basically all you need to do to edit a header is to double click in it. Sometimes you might have to kind of double click until you find the right spot. It's only like a one liner at the top of the page. But once you're in here, you'll see this says first page header. That's important because this header is different than this header. So let's see, the way that I have worked out to do this is when you can, you can type in here and just type in anything and then you can add an image. I have an image actually on my clipboard. I'm gonna paste it. And then I can say, hey, I want this to wrap with the text, you know, and that looks pretty nice. But what if I want it on the right hand side? I can move it over, I can move it over. Look what happens. <laughs> So images and the headers with Google Docs seem to be really, really temperamental. So the way that I have worked my way around this is I'm gonna put that back on my clipboard, double click to get back in my header, and I'm gonna delete all this, just select all delete. If I go to insert, go to table, create a two column, one row table, it sticks it in there. I can just paste my, my logo in, and then I can say, Okay, so now I've put my address information in, I've got my logo in here, but I want this to align right. So the first thing I did is because I'd wrapped it at the beginning, I have to go back and put it to inline. And what that will do is it will allow me to hit control or control right, right align, and that will put it to the right hand side of the page. Oh, that looks great. Except I've got these lines. So I'm gonna select all the columns and all the rows, and then I'm gonna go over here to border width, hit zero. Boom, there you go, right? So I'm gonna click off of it real quick to show you what it looks like. If I come down here, it, the letterhead's not on the subsequent pages. Here's why. Remember I said that your first header is different than, first page header is different than the rest of the headers. What you wanna do is unselect this different first page, right? Let me, let me remind you that it didn't just disappear. It's there, it's saved, but because it's using the same header as here and there's nothing here. It's got like, like two different files basically. So bring it back. If you wanna put that on all your pages, do a select all, copy it, uncheck this, and then just paste it in. And it will it will show. And now if I go to all the different pages, it will show up on all the different pages. But sometimes you just want the letterhead to be on your first page, and then you want um, you know to create something different down here. Now remember, we've already double clicked and, and pasted it here, so now they look the same. I'm gonna put this is the second header. And I'll show you, it repeats on all the subsequent pages, right? Like two plus. I'm gonna show you something up here. Um, to edit these ones down here, all you do is double click in the header on any other page, and then you can change the header to be however you want it to be. There's some important options here. You can go to options, and then you can add your page numbers in here. And remember, they are different entities, so keep that in mind. You can select header, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna put like your, pointing at the screen like you can see me, it, you're gonna put the, the number right here, it's gonna put the number right here under the logo. And that's not usually what you want, you want it to be at the bottom of the page. And sometimes you don't want it to even show up on the first page. So I'm gonna show you both hands so you can see how to edit your footer as well. So I'm gonna hit select footer because I want it at the bottom of the page and then I do want it to show on the first page in this case. I'm gonna hit apply and you'll see down here, it's put it right there and then on all the subsequent pages. If you come down to footer and you double click down here, Say I don't want it on the first page, right? I can just delete it. It's like smart text, so it knows what it's supposed to be. So you can edit it just like regular text. You can format it, you can put fonts on it, colorize it, whatever you want to do. But we're not going to have it for our first one. And just like the header on the first page, you can have a different footer on your first page if you want more information, but you only want it to show on the first page. And that's pretty much it for options. You can remove the footer entirely and give yourself a little bit more body space up here if you have more, if you need more space for text. So that's something to keep in mind. And that's pretty much it for editing the header, but you might be wondering why my page is orange and now I want to show you over here in file and if you go down to document details it's like metadata for the document where you created it where it's saved that kind of thing not super useful typically like how often do you need that but if you go down to page setup that's where you get into like the margins and how you want the page to be laid out and where you can choose your color I'm going to set this back to white and there you go right so if you've got sometimes you have like resume paper or something that's like a slightly different color and you want to see what it looks like on that page it's not going to print that background color but at least you can see what it's going to look like or if it's just a digital document sometimes it's fun to have like a slightly different color 
And that's pretty much all there is to editing here. If you are interested in a logo that looks like this, I want to recommend, I get all my stuff from De Deposit Photos. They're phenomenal. And this image is only 83 cents. So it's, to me, it's really worth it. I'll have an affiliate link down below and I'll put it, I'll pin it in like the first comment. But this is, I just grabbed this image and then grabbed, um, which one did I even grab? This one right here and just plucked it in. And it makes for a really good looking logo without much effort, <laughs> you know, cause you can always change your logo. So it's really cool, but that's it. That's where I got the logo. That's how I did the page. If you have any questions, please leave comments. Also, please write thanks Wendy in the comments. And the reason for it is it's a quick way to leave like a little virtual tip. And what it does is it boosts the video so more people see it so that there's more ad revenue. That's all there is to it. So it's a, it's a neat way to leave a virtual tip without actually spending any money. So that's it guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.